Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel to go forever, Mrs. M and Fidgety Zoe. So we need to fix your hat. Hi Zoe, say hi to the people. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new, I am really grateful that you stopped by this video. I really hope you stay. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, which we should be said Zoe. Okay. But if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you very much guys. I'm obsessed with cushions being a certain specific way. But if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you very much for your continued support okay now we're in the center so in today's video guys it's a very special video that i want to do it's uh, tips and tricks for first time moms you guys i'm a first time mom if it's your first time stopping by i am a first time mom this is my first born her name is zoe lillian so yeah i just want to tell you some of the tips and tricks zoe you i love that you look straight in the camera i just want to tell you some of the tips and tricks that i've learned from being a first time mom and some of the things that helped me so zoe's going to be six months on the 23rd of october so it's been a blessing that you know i've had to experience motherhood for the first six months so yeah guys let's get straight into the video i really hope you guys thumbs this video up don't forget to comment subscribe hit the post notification bell so that you're notified each and every time mrs m uploads a new video and yeah guys let's get into it so guys well the first issue i shouldn't say first second because i'll forget okay one of the first tips and tricks that i've learned guys from being a first time mom is that yeah. that statement that says sleep when the baby sleeps <laughs> what's wrong that statement that says sleep when the baby sleeps does not work it didn't work for me sometimes it would sometimes it wouldn't but overly 90 percent of the time it didn't work what's wrong when i'm where do you want to go? So we were filming a video. 90% of the time it didn't work because then like when she would sleep, that's when I'll rush to bath, that's when I'll rush to, you know, wash my bras, wash, you know, my internet, just to get everything under control. So sleeping when she slept just didn't work for me to be honest, guys. It never worked. I always was tired. And sometimes she would sleep. <laughs> okay, so sometimes she would sleep for like 30 minutes and then like you're so tired so the only thing that really helped me was just getting help from other people so i was very fortunate enough that for the first six weeks when zoe was born i was around family so i'll give them to her in the morning and then i'll get some time to rest so the other thing you're the ice cream man guys please forgive me if you hear any clinking there's an ice cream man outside um that uh, walks in our neighborhood i think every tuesday so the other thing that worked for me was like i said accepting the help guys we don't know everything especially if you're a first time mom you really need to accept the help you really need to accept everything that the other people are telling you because they've been through it probably they have four five three four five kids and they're already experienced so you should uh, accept the help from them so one of the things that i really learned is um whilst you're accepting that help allow them to do all the cultural processes on the baby because even the bible if you're a christian acknowledges cultural processes so allow them to do all the cultural processes on the baby such that you don't have any hiccups in the future i mean um uh, one of the tips so that i explain why i'm saying allow them to do cultural processes another tip is that you need to uh, join mommy groups yay sesa is back guys we didn't have electricity sesa is back anyways moving on to the video uh why i'm saying you need to allow people to uh to do these cultural processes is for me i'm in a mommy whatsapp group i'm in two mommy whatsapp groups this is one of the things that has also been helpful guys join mommy groups especially because most of them have first time moms so i'm in this popular one called turbo turbo is actually a company in zimbabwe that sells uh baby wear baby stuff not sponsored guys and then i'm in this one called masala english um group so yeah uh, do join mommy groups they really help you out hearing other mommy's experiences sorry about that though. hearing other mommy's experiences uh really helps out this is where i found out that a lot of people in those mommy groups may have not gone through these cultural processes and they may end up uh end up uh, encountering a lot of challenges with their babies that's why i'm saying that being in mommy groups sort of comes back to you letting other letting the elderly do the cultural processes so that you know your baby is just um <laughs> It's just wow. Zoe likes to lick her finger, guys. One of the tips that I've also learned is I'm not going to stop her from licking her fingers. If she wants to lick her fingers and she finds it delicious, she's going to outgrow it, guys. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to let her lick her fingers as much as she wants. So, yeah, those are the two tips 
and that I've learned from being in mommy groups that you know you need to let the elderly do what they need to do okay? so you know some of the things that I'm seeing in those groups and learning in those groups has really you know made me appreciate that okay I just let it let go and let the cultural processes be done on Zoe it may sound like something that is backward but let the elderly people who know better than us do all the cultural processes it will really help you out another tip for me that I've learned is uh, babies are different guys babies are so different and one thing uh, my baby being so different one thing that I've hated because Zoe is so different is that people say like is she on solid Zoe's not on solid yet I'll only put on solid with solids when she's six months old so one of the things that I've really hated is people who keep telling me that Zoe is overweight guys if Zoe was overweight her doctors would have told me that a doctor would have told me that Zoe is overweight so one of the tips guys if you're not a mom yet for those guys who are not mom yet it's something that i've also learned from being a, a first time mom some of the comments that you can give to people may be a bit insensitive or they may find them a bit offensive so for a first time mom i've learned to sort of like suppress some of the comments i may want to say about someone's baby because i know what affects me when i hear some of those comments guys is honestly can you say that zoe is too chubby or zoe is just perfect uh yeah and this comment of saying is zoe on porridge is zoe on porridge is zoe on solids no guys zoe is not on solids and i'm also quite tired of telling people that zoe is not on solids zoe will not be on solids until she's six months which is next week that's when i'll start putting on solids one of the other things that i've also learned from being a first time mom is guys there's no rush for snapping back honestly there's no rush to snap back take it easy your body took nine months to be the way it is it's gonna take more than nine months to go back imagine all that stretching processes that was going on with your belly and stuff and then you wanted to snap back like in a month and in two months it's not realistic guys it's really not realistic stop trying to force yourself to snap back you won't snap back in a month two months three months if anything you're still healing right don't force your body because now if you're going to push your body to do so much you're going to then cause long-term effects especially for people who have given birth through a c-section really give your tummy a long time to heal before you can start exercising i'm sure doctors are not silly when they say you have to wait okay zoe i'm sure doctors are not silly when they say you have to wait a certain amount of time another thing that i've also learned from being a first time mom is that um when it comes to baby products that you use guys to each their own people use different products and one thing that i've learned when it comes to pampas is when we bought our pampas i was i was lucky enough to be advised that don't buy too many because you never know if your baby is going to react to a certain brand let me say diapers or pampas pampas is a brand you never know if your baby is going to um you never know if your baby is going to what's it called you never know if your baby is going to react to a certain brand so don't overbuy when you start but once you have seen okay your baby likes this then you can start bulk buying the other thing that i've really learned also is babies on grow clothes so fast guys zoe is already going in her six to twelve month outfit and there's a dress she got from her sister right it's like it's like 12 to 18 months and it fit perfectly because zoe is chubby it fit perfectly so imagine like she she didn't get much wear out of her zero to three month clothes because um because she's just chubby she just decided to be a chubby baby guys and she didn't get um, a lot of wear out of her clothes and yeah another tip is um join mommy groups guys like i say they are really really helpful you learn to hear you get to hear other mommies experiences and you get to get help and the other thing is guys when it gets tough talk to someone guys there's no problem in just opening up your message or you can see who's been online from people's statuses that they post and if you're going through like your postpartum like it's coming down to a depression do talk to someone because sometimes when you're alone in the night you can get really depressed and it can really become overwhelming what's wrong with <laughs> you can really be depressed and it become it can become overwhelming so yeah guys do talk to other moms uh do seek advice and one of the things that in seeking advice that i learned for myself is when i was pregnant i just made a conscious decision not to um 
I just made a conscious decision not to read too many things on the internet. I remember what one one time my sister, my husband's sister asked me that, you know what, I've never seen you reading anything. Um, on the internet when it comes to baby stuff i didn't want to overread because i didn't want to get anxiety into getting into labor i already knew that okay labor is going to be painful and i didn't read beyond that i, I wasn't watching videos of women giving birth i'm the videos that i was watching were like uh preg, uh, like pre, what's in my pregnancy bag and things like that but anything whoa zoe guys let me fix that and i'll be right back okay guys uh, we've sorted that out one of the most important things i don't even know what my train of thought was so i'm just going to move on to the next tip ah so you're going to puke again ah gosh one of the other things that i've learned is guys there's no rush like with any stage a baby is in there's no rush so i've seen that a lot of people like to sit like from the mommy group that i'm mommy groups that i'm in a lot of people like to sit their babies around three months and i'm like guys you're going to break the baby's back like the person who said that a baby should start learning to sit at four months is not stupid it probably came from doctors i don't know i've just been told that babies should start learning to uh, sit at four months like that person is not silly they it was said that because of a certain reason because the baby's spinal cord and everything is starting to come uh, to come into being and becoming strength uh, becoming stronger like they can start learning and you see that the baby will naturally gravitate into starting to want to sit at that stage so there's no point in guys there's no point in making your baby sit at three months honestly you guys are going to hurt the baby stop this nonsense of people saying i want my baby to rush to do this to rush to do this to rush to do this like no there's no there's no point one of the things that i've really learned ah uh ah -uh, zoe ah uh -uh, no 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 one of the things that i've also learned is uh, like what I was saying, babies are different. There's no rush in development, right? So we started sitting properly at like um, maybe almost five months when we went to my when we went to mom's house uh, like three four weeks ago. That's when she started sitting. Like we just got there. Like imagine I had bought like the sitter, I had bought like this uh, like things for her to learn to sit, and then she only started to sit when we went to mom's place. So then I'm like, okay, I wasted money. This girl is not even sitting. She's going to sit at her own time. The other thing that I've also learned is guys, I, I personally do not rush to buy her toys or to buy, to buy her a, a sitting chair because then she wasn't even sitting. So the thing that has really helped me is as she becomes more aware, I'm going to start buying the things like at every stage. Like now she's starting to be aware of music and, and then I've started buying musical toys. I hope that makes sense. When she started to want to recline and sort of sit up, that's when I bought her an elephant. I don't buy all those things at once because then from zero to three months, honestly, she's just laying down the whole time. So it didn't make sense for me to to buy like those kind of things so i only started buying them as she as i noticed that okay she's now away of the stage she's now away of the stage she's now away of the stage that's when i started to that's when i started to um to, that's when i started to buy those things and one of the other tips that i've learned guys is take as many photos of your baby as you want take as many videos as she develops as you want it just gives you something to look back at and be appreciative of like um of, of like every stage that she's gone through like look now she's making these sounds she wasn't doing this uh like three four months back three four months back she would have been crying right now if i started if i wanted to record so yes i have a, a i have a gallery uh uh so you're going to hurt yourself my baby i have a gallery of photos of videos that i've taken of her over the stages which just makes me really happy what's wrong you want to take a break but sorry the people need to see you you want to take off your hat? Please don't pull your hat, Nana. Thank you. Please don't pull your hat. Your hat matches with your dress. Can you chill? Can you chill? The other thing that I learned also in in, in, in the same thing of saying don't rush. Like, like I, I only started putting headbands on Zoe like at three months because I was worried that they'll be super tight. Like this is loose. Like I only put loose things on her. This is loose and it's comfortable. She can even take it off herself. Uh, so yeah, a lot of people like to um, like to put those uh, strong headbands on people. Guys, the baby's head is a bit fragile at this stage, so you want to be careful on putting um, things that are too tight. <clears throat> on putting things that are too tight on your baby because you don't know what like the effect it could have on her head. And what? 
<laughs> the other thing that has also worked for me is giving Zoe a bath every single day. Like if you don't bath Zoe, she's going to throw a tantrum, guys. Like so, um, I was very fortunate enough that the first six weeks um, after having Zoe, mom bathed her every day. Grand mom and grandma bathed her every day. I think <clears throat> throughout the first six weeks, I only bathed her once, which was very nice for me because i was recovering as well and guys you don't want to miss every doctor's appointment guys those doctors that tell you like the pediatricians when they tell you we want to see your baby at uh, six weeks want to see your baby at 10 weeks want to see them at like so we have had so we had to be seen at we went to her first doctor's appointment when she was in hospital then we had to go for her seven day appointment and because i was struggling with breastfeeding I was struggling to breastfeed Zoe, she wasn't latching on well and my boobs were so full, I was struggling to breastfeed her, I was told to come again after another 7 days. So Zoe had to go for 7 days and then we had to go again at 14 days because I was struggling and I literally had to be manually taught to breastfeed by the doctor because I was struggling and I had been pumping and pumping was so painful, my nipples were cracking, it was just a lot. So keeping up with these doctor's appointments also helped me. Uh, Zoe, okay, I think you're sleeping my baby. Keeping up with the doctor's appointments really helped me um, as a first time mom because then they can tell you what you need to do and I think doctors always know best. Like what I was saying guys, with Zoe's weight, honestly, the she's overweight comments need to stop because they're really offensive. Babies are different. A slim baby and uh and a chubby baby are both healthy as long as the doctor says they're healthy, as long as they keep up with the appointments and the doctor says they're healthy, they're healthy. One of the things that has helped me uh keep up with my breast milk production is that I don't choose what to eat. People always tell me that okay, your breast milk has feeding, your breast milk has feeding because Zoe is so chubby it's because I don't choose what to eat and I don't control my portions to be honest guys I just eat as and when I'm hungry like as soon as I finish filming this video I'm going to eat a lot of food because I'm super super hungry so I've never rationed my portions and I'm not on a I'm not on a workout routine that is strict I work out when I want to work out and I usually just follow YouTube videos and I just eat whatever I eat just because when you are when you're breastfeeding you're going to be a lot a lot a lot a lot hungry so i don't portion my i don't um portion my um i don't portion my what's it called my i don't i don't i don't measure my my portions rather so i eat whatever i eat like if you guys follow me and have been following me on my channel you know that i make porridge every single morning we have porridge every single morning and then we have our tea i make sure that we are feeling food that is feeling whether it be baked beans baked beans are so feeling if you put like if you put soup and then you put your baked beans eggs are so filling they're good for milk production and i like and i like a lot of my hair i love my hair guys it really helps me out and i also eat um a lot of rice i eat a lot of um well we barely cook sadza here because my husband hates sadza well not that he hates it he just doesn't prefer it if he's going to work so yeah whenever we do eat sadza i eat a lot of portions like today i actually ate his leftover sadza so that's been really helping me out and one other thing that i've uh, that i've um, also learned is that there's no rush guys you're, you like your baby when they're born right they're essentially like you guys are getting to know each other so try to manage your frustrations but it is normal to uh, it is normal to get frustrated a lot of the time because you're a first time mom so it's normal like every feeling that you go through is normal one other thing i know that when you usually have a baby girl you're so excited to pierce her i wish i would have pierced zoe earlier because the earlier the better although i didn't have any issues uh one thing that i've also decided to do is that i've let mom be like and i've let mom be a, a big part of every major step of zoe so like when okay when zoe got pierced i waited to go to harare i didn't pierce her here in shishavani i waited to go to harare so that mom could go with me and then mom could teach me like the aftercare of like a baby that's been pierced so she taught me how to put like the methylated spirit on her ears and she taught me how many times to do it i didn't know that when a baby's pierced you're not supposed to like you know like how you swirl the earring like around like every day i didn't know that you're not supposed to swirl it for the first three days because it's a bit sensitive you are just supposed to put the methylated spirit she taught me the exact way to put the methylated spirit so the first three days or the first were there for the first 
two days that she had been pierced mom took care of her ears and then when i came back here i even asked her okay mom is it now okay to swell the ears she told me when it was now okay to swell the ears so i've let mom be a major part of every milestone so like now i'm going to be in harare when she starts taking solids so i've said okay mom she said i'll tell you the recipe or how to make the porridge or how but then i just said no mom i'm going to wait until i come so that you can put her on solids for me and help me and teach me how to do it so that um whenever i then have a baby another baby whenever i decide to have another baby i have all the knowledge i've been taught like step by step how to do it so we you need to stop fighting okay okay sorry you can have it sorry sorry oh don't cry my baby i'm sorry oh sorry okay i'm sorry nana sorry you can you can play with the next person like you guys, Zoe is now so away. As you can see, she's crying for this necklace because I was stopping her from playing with it. But she's now also away. So the baby will become naturally aware of all these things. And guys, it's okay to rest. Take a rest whenever you need to, guys. You don't need, like, no one is going to come and visit you. There's no need to, like, make your bed at 9 a.m. because, like, because you're thinking okay i need to keep up i need to what 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 no if you don't have help yet there's really no rush take your time with everything that you're doing don't think because mrs m sometimes makes you guys have seen me raw and unfiltered you know sometimes i get up to 4 or 5 p.m and i haven't even made my bed i haven't even been able to shower it's because i didn't have help but now because i have a little more help and zoe's more grown and i have someone who's very good with zoe I can do more of those things but if you can't guys there's really 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 no rush don't listen to these youtubers well i'm one of those youtubers don't really pay attention to those youtubers that portray a perfect life guys there's nothing that is perfect about life life is imperfect and motherhood you is imperfect as well you learn as you grow as long as this baby comes first and you're doing whatever one thing i've also learned and the best advice that i've also been given is it's okay to not be able to do everything else except you being able to be there for the baby and uh and taking care of her needs first so yeah guys those are all the tips and tricks that i've learned i really hope you could take away something um from this video of being a first time mom and i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to continue thumbsing me up don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you're, you're literally going to kill me my mom you're literally going to kill me with this necklace <laughs> yeah guys don't forget to thumbs me up and thank you very much for supporting my channel guys it's been amazing the growth on my channel and i really hope you guys continue to come and support my channel thank you very much from the bottom of my heart i'm very appreciative and it's been beautiful to watch zoe uh, grow through your eyes all your comments guys everyone who comments on all my videos thank you very much i really appreciate it and thank you guys for your compliments you guys are saying zoe's the cutest zoe's the prettiest zoe is just an amazing child guys she's just an amazing child and i'm very grateful from the bottom of my heart that i can share her with you guys and you guys can have a part of zoe with you guys so yeah guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'll catch you in my next one ah zoe stop eating my necklace i'll catch you in my next one bye